Okay, so, so far we have the power rule, derivative of sine and cosine, e of the x and a of the x derivatives. Uh, let's try to increase our list. Um, what's another function that you, you wish you, you knew? I have sine and cosine, so what should follow? Tangent? Tangent of x. Let's try to figure out what tangent x prime is. Okay, what, what rule should we use? Can we make use of these two formulas to find this? Yeah. How? Yeah, sine x, tangent is sine over cosine. So when you differentiate this, you can make use of the quotient rule, which says IV low minus low D pi over low squared. And then sine differentiates to cosine. Cosine differentiates to negative sine. And cosine squared. Uh, you should all know that uh, if the cosine squared, people just write the two, not, not with the parentheses, but they just put two here. Okay? So that's another common way people write. So cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Minus minus is plus. Sine times sine is sine squared over cosine squared. What's cosine squared plus sine squared? One. One. And this can be viewed as one over cosine squared, right? What is one over cosine? There's another function for one over <coughs> cosine, right? Nope. It's a secant, right? Secant. So we get secant squared of x. So we can we can put that in here. Okay. Right, right here. Tangent x prime is secant of x squared. Let's try other other functions. What about secant? What's the derivative of secant? How could how could we do this? Well, we just we just said that the secant is one over cosine, so we can just use one over cosine. And you can differentiate this, which means you can use use the uh, quotient rule. Uh, we have to use the quotient rule because this is a fraction, or we may avoid using the quotient rule if you manage to write this as a non-fraction. Okay, Let, let's try to change this, change the way it looks so that we can avoid using the quotient rule. Uh, although I can't promise that that's anyway easier than using the quotient rule. We can do this, right? 1 over anything is that function to negative 1 power. Right? Now, if I put it like this, what rule I must use? Chain, chain. chain rule, because now cosine x is nested inside the negative 1 power function. Right? Okay. So, uh, you, you have two choices. You can use the quotient rule if you don't want to change the format. Okay? If you change the format into a nested function, then you have to use the chain rule, OK? OK, the chain rule says, if I cover this thinking of this as like x, what, what's the derivative of x to the negative 1? <coughs> negative 1 halves in front. And you have to subtract 1 off the exponent, so that's negative 2, right? And then what do you do? So it's like x to the negative 1 differentiates to negative 1 times x to the negative 2. Then what does the chain rule say? Pull the inside function out and differentiate. That's what the chain rule says. Pull gx out and differentiate, right? So you have to pull the inside function out and differentiate, which is cosine of x. What's the derivative of cosine x? Negative sine. So it's negative 1, cosine x, negative 2 times negative sine x. Minus minus is plus, and let's rewrite this as a fraction, so you end up with 
sine x on the top, because this is negative 2, you have cosine squared x in the denominator. So this is the derivative of secant x, but often people try to write down the, the simplified version. You can rewrite this as 1 over cosine x times sine over x, at sine, sine x over cosine x. 1 over cosine x times sine x over cosine x. And say this is secant of x, and this one is tangent of x. So that, that's the common thing that people write. So secant of x differentiates to secant x tangent x. And the list grows. You, you have to memorize everything on that side, okay? Alright, since uh, this is kind of getting old, let me, let me just read, write down the derivatives of the cotangent and cosecant. So if you do the derivative of cotangent of x, it's very similar to the derivative of tangent of x. The only thing is you have to differentiate cosine over sine, right? And uh, the result is very similar also. Instead of secant squared, you're going to get cosecant squared with a minus, okay? And same thing for cosecant of x prime. If you differentiate this, you're going to get negative cosecant of x, cotangent of x. And you, you have to memorize everything on this list.